Thanks so much for having us. Yeah, the plan for uh, growth is to continue to focus on really our long-term vision around transforming the lives of immigrants and their families by providing the most trusted financial services on, on the planet. We do that in 135 countries uh, currently, uh, primarily with remittances. And the plan is to continue to serve uh, uh, customers in those countries, uh, expand to new countries, and then uh, uh, widen our range of financial services that we can offer to our customers over time. Yeah, no, I thought it was interesting that you recently expanded beyond remittance, remittances with a banking service. How much of your growth is going to be about becoming more of a one-stop shop for your users? Well, we're really excited about launching Passbook, which is a bank account that's specifically designed for immigrants. And uh, we're in the early days of that product. We're excited about the long-term potential in both that product as well as the fact that we're only 1% of the global remittance market right now, so a lot of room to continue to grow and serve customers around the globe. Matt, interesting to me that you're focused on this market and on immigrants worldwide. We're talking to a lot of fintech companies lately that are trying to be the everything app for everyone, but you're focused on uh, a specific market. Why? And um, how are the needs of the market you're focused on different from the broader market? Yeah, absolutely. Well, what's amazing is that there are 280 million immigrants that live and work outside the country they're born. And we've been proud to serve over 5 million customers to date with our uh, uh, remittance service. And they do have unique challenges and unique needs. There's a lot more complexity than meets the eye when it comes to remittances specifically. Uh, and we're really proud to have built peace of mind with over 5 million customers via our leading disbursement network, our risk systems, our security. Uh, we've invested a lot in those systems. And as we continue to grow, we think we can be able to do even more of that over time. Uh, interesting. Um, I mean, we have seen a lot of comments from the business community, the Chamber of Commerce, on trying to open a path for legal immigration uh, just to improve the labor force in this country. But what's your best read right now in terms of whether or not that kind of legislation could actually become reality? Yeah, there's, there's certainly always talk of uh, legislation around, you know, immigration and immigrants. And, you know, ultimately what I come back to is the story of our customers. And what's amazing is the sacrifices that they make, uh, oftentimes to leave their close family, their relatives, to move to a new country, to contribute to the communities that they move to, to build a better life for themselves, for their families back home. And what's amazing and so meaningful about this business is we get to serve those customers every single day. And the interesting thing, though, is, Matt, is that your customers have traditionally gone with Western Union. I'm saying this as a, as a Disruptor 50 person here and working on that list. You know, this is Western Union is the incumbent. You're the disruptor. Western Union is, is more widespread around the world. How do you intend to compete? Is it about luring over some of those customers or, or trying to get the next generation? Yeah, well, what's amazing is that if you think about most remittances, they're still sent uh, largely via physical cash locations. And that process is obviously old, antiquated, expensive. And so what customers can do on our platform is link their bank account or their debit card or alternative payment method and then send money back home to over 115 countries and have that money dispersed in a wide range of options, whether it's cash pickup, bank deposit, mobile wallets, door-to-door -door delivery, all of those are options on our platform. And so what's exciting about right now and what's incredibly important during a pandemic is that people need digital ways to be able to get money back to their families because it goes a very long way. And increasingly, during a pandemic, again, customers are looking for digital solutions to help them do that.